Who was good YouTube? It's your girl Miss Golden83 and I am here to do a word from the ancestor read for the sign of Pisces. Okay? Pisces, you guys are second on week three for the zodiac lineup. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Remember you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you guys have gotten acclimated to um, the change for the ancestor reads. Um, they are now a pyramid spread. So let's go ahead and get started. I have already shuffled the deck for you guys. I'm going to start from one from the top. Three for the second row, focusing on what you want and not what you don't want as you center yourself around those ideas or ideals. Then we have five on the third row, talking about the possible changes that are going on around you or um, to come, okay? And then we have seven cards for the bottom row, focusing on that inner strength that you will need in regards to said changes and anything else that could be going on in your life at this time. The middle of the pyramid is considered your center. The right side is the masculine energy. The left side is the feminine energy, which we all have within us. We'll look at the bottom of the deck for the possible overall outcome or any additional information associated with your pyramid. Okay. So um, as things come up, I will try and channel in as much as I possibly can so you can have a well-rounded reading. Um, Other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So at the top of your pyramid, Pisces, we have the Queen of Swords, okay? Queen of Swords, which is obviously, you know, it can be feminine energy around you, air energy as uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, okay? Um, someone possibly... good with words or well spoken if you will okay in pisces it could be someone that you have either around you or just on your mind all right you could have one of those signs in your chart you don't have to it's just an honorable mention okay but obviously whatever it is there's obviously some truth being told okay next we have the six of wands okay Six of Wands coming out here, kind of marching from the Sagittarius reading into yours, okay? Um, I believe the Six of Wands was possibly in the third row for Sagittarius. Um, I think it's it's not so much a, a victory already, okay? Um, again, this is the second row, focusing on what you want, not what you don't want. And so I think it's possibly wanting some form of a victory with this particular person that is on your mind, okay? Pisces, get in where you fit in for this reading. It may not be for you. It also could be some Pisces placement energy, um, other sun signs that possibly have uh, Pisces in their chart are possibly uh, going to be viewing this, so hopefully you don't mind sharing your energy, Pisces. Next is the Four of Swords, okay? Four of Swords was in Sagittarius' reading as well. However, it was on the very top of their pyramid, okay? It's up underneath this Queen of Swords energy, okay? Following this Six of Wands. So if you put these two together, it equals out to five, um, which feels like a form of defeat possibly for you, um, Pisces, in regards to dealing with this particular energy, 
okay feeling defeated about something um possibly a the possibility of a victory with this person okay um and so right now you are deep in thought about like i said this person um in particular and possibly trying to get back to this person or making advances towards this person next we have the ace of swords there needs to be some form of truth okay it's something that really it's needed in regards to possibly the person who you are trying to talk to. Um, however, it's something that you really don't want to do. Okay. I think you're trying to find a way to avoid said truth coming out or needing to be said. Okay. Um, kind of moseying around the idea as much as possible. Again, Pisces, we talk about this a lot with you guys, manipulating um, situations in order for it to benefit you, okay? Um, not throwing shade at you, I'm just saying that is a personal trait that sometimes you guys have, okay? And in this situation, it just feels as though there's some avoidance of something um, with this uh, four of swords being right here. Now, if I sit up here and look at this as a miniature pyramid, and this being the bottom of your pyramid and this up at the top, you have this around you, okay? Like I said, trying to mimic or manipulate something to work out for, for your benefit while still giving this person exactly what they want, okay? For others of you, it could be someone in your life that is very um, direct with you in regards to, you know, maybe the house or whatever the case may be whenever you need um some you know truth told to you they always deliver okay and so you could have that kind of vibe around you as well trying to touch all pisces energy here okay let's move on to the third row where we have the moon which is your energy pisces something hidden okay like i said possibility of trying to keep something under wraps as much as possible um but again if you are a believer of um or a fan of old sayings as much as i am what's done in the dark will come to light okay things cannot be hidden for but so long again with this ace of swords before it okay it is going to possibly keep you from having this full-on victory okay um if you continue to hide things now if it's a surprise in a good sense then by all means it's understandable but if it's something that was you know done again in the dark it will come to light okay you cannot hide from it anymore okay it could be something as simple as, you know, certain feelings or thoughts about something and it's time to kind of fess up to those thoughts, okay? And it could be something um, physical that was done um, that has this particular energy questioning, okay? Um, particular behaviors or, you know, energy, period, all right? Let's go into the next card. We have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? Eight of Pentacles is underneath the Six of Wands, okay? And following the Moon card, okay? Now, it could be something work-related for some of you if we're looking at just this section here of the pyramid, okay? But Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is talking about basically focusing and working diligently towards something, okay? Okay? And so it could be something that you're working on that needs to actually remain hidden. Um, certain facts um, that you're, you know, not or information that you're not at liberty to share. And so um, it's in order to guarantee this victory for some of you. Okay. So as far as maybe like work directives, things of that nature, um, you may be having to move pretty quietly in order for this to have a successful finish okay so that's for some of you the others of you you're gonna have to work very hard um in keeping whatever this is secret okay um 
two of pentacles is next flowing up underneath this four of swords okay so again remember this center column here is your energy primarily everything else is on the outskirts of your energy okay the two of pentacles is usually talking about juggling okay and possibly you've been juggling with the thought of i guess either you know what to do what not to do to come clean or not come clean um making possibly for some of you some judgment calls um are kind of difficult for you um to make um pentacles is of values things of worth it doesn't always have to be about finances but it could be in regards to particular information that you have of, you know, like I said, relinquish or to refrain. OK, um, and so you're kind of caught in um, I'm not going to say indecisiveness, but just trying to juggle or manipulate um, things at this time that are possibly out of your control. And again, you're just deep in thought. Again, someone either asking you questions about it and you're up in the air of whether or not if you're, you know, at liberty to share or not, um, especially if you're being, if it's business related and maybe even not even business related, but personal reasons, you may have mutual friends um, with this person. And so kind of worried about maybe this person saying something and so you're kind of torn about whether or not if you should continue to divulge information to this person because somehow things always tend to um, end out in the atmosphere and people end up finding out about it and so that may be something that some of you are struggling with as well okay so let's move on to the next one and we have four of pentacles okay four of pentacles underneath the ace of swords why am i not surprised holding back like i said information um with this ace of swords right above the four of pentacles okay four of pentacles is always talking about holding back as you have one person holding one coin holding it tightly and then three other coins spread about one on the head two in between the feet and so trying to hold on to as much information as you possibly can um, without relinquishing it okay um i talk about this occasionally on my channel in regards to telling half truths in my personal opinion okay not that y'all asked for it but you're watching my video so i feel obliged to say something about it okay all the time or whenever it's relevant really but nonetheless telling half truths is still lying okay no matter how you try to shape or mold it or reasoning behind uh doing it while it may be in good intention but at the end of the day someone is only going to see it as you trying to protect yourself okay and so with that being said, for me personally, I don't like when people tell me half truths because I'm a grown ass woman and I can take the truth. OK, I'd rather you tell me the truth. And, you know, some people will be like, oh, no, nobody likes to hear the truth. No, I do. OK, um, and that's just me personally, because I feel like it would hurt me more to hear a lie in a continuous lie than to just know the truth and be able to deal with it face value and that's just my opinion okay some people like to be lied to it's something different again like i said if it is meant to be a surprise okay since you do have this six of wands here i'm fine with a little white lie here and there if you're surprising me with you know a birthday cake or a party or something like that okay cool but if you're hiding something from me that you did that you know was wrong and that you shouldn't have done and you're telling me half truths about it, such as cheating and things of that nature, then yeah, I'd much rather you come out and just say, hey, I cheated than to sit up here and say, oh, I was at work. Because trust and believe you me, I've been there before, okay? I actually had someone who lied about going to work, kept the uniform, quit two weeks prior and told me they were going to work and I went to their job and found out that they had quit two weeks ago. 
So again, that I'd rather, much rather someone tell me the truth than to sit up here and actually play on a lie, okay? And test my patience and my loyalty. That's one thing that you don't do when it comes to me or any Taurus for that matter. Now, enough about me. Let's get back into your reading, okay? So we have the Fool, okay? We have the Fool card on the outskirts. And it is diagonal from that Ace of Swords following the Four of Pentacles. You possibly, Pisces, are going through what I just stated as far as this Two of Pentacles going back and forth in your head of whether or not to relinquish the truth or not. You're going to have to take a leap of faith and take a risk and hope that someone is willing to listen, okay? And accept the truth for what it is and hopefully give you another chance. As you can see, if we go diagonally up back into this Queen of Swords, okay? It is the Fool, the Ace of Swords, and then the Queen of Swords. Literally clarifying, you know, what possibly is going to end up happening, like I said, you want this victory you need to come out of hiding and stop hiding things and you need to take a risk and tell the truth to this person if you're going to get this victory and i'm literally going outside of this pyramid leading up to that queen of swords okay because that queen of swords is very inquisitive okay and you cannot get past her without her knowing something okay or observing something or having a way of asking a question that's possibly a trick question that gets you to release whatever it is that you need to say with this ace of swords okay so let's move on pisces to now the page of swords okay page of swords following the fool on the outskirts here okay with this moon card again like i said Diagonal from this moon card, six of wands, queen of swords. You want this victory. You're only going to talk primarily positive energy over this situation, Pisces, to have it benefit you. Like I said, even if it is a page of swords, it's very light energy, lighthearted energy, such as breaking the ice with a simple hi or can we talk type vibe, okay? Or... um I know or admitting that you were wrong, okay? Starting very lightheartedly and hoping that this person is willing to understand and hear you out, okay? That is where we are with that page of swords, okay? We have the six of cups here, okay? Six of cups coming up underneath the moon card. Six of cups also came out in Sagittarius. It was in the opposite space it was where the page of swords is and if i remember correctly page of swords was also in this last row as well i just can't remember exactly where okay but nonetheless six of cups underneath the moon is talking about hidden feelings as i said before um possibly you guys hiding some inner thoughts um things of that nature okay and so hiding some maybe true fears, things of that nature, some inner child work, just like Sagittarius, um, needing to be done. Um, as far as, like I said, opening up to fears and maybe that is what it is, um, that you need to express to this queen of swords. Again, this queen of swords is very inquisitive. You cannot get around, you know, not saying everything or making sense. Okay. Um, in conversation, there could be times Pisces where, you guys um, talk about something that is completely off topic and this queen of swords energy is like, what? We were talking about dinner and you're telling me about something from your past that happened. It just, there's 360 degrees of separation of how a conversation is relevant to whatever you're currently talking about, okay? And so that tends to happen sometimes with Pisces, okay? Um, almost like a misdirect, if you will, okay? And sometimes you guys are famous for doing that, okay? 
Um, and so I think it's really hard because of the fact of you being a water sign. And so sometimes water signs, um, while they say still waters run deep, you guys' emotions are usually everywhere. And I'm not just saying for you, I'm saying for all of the water signs, okay? So I'm going to spread a, <laughs> spread the, the shade just a little bit um, outside of you, okay, Pisces? And I'm not going to single y'all out. Next, we are going to go to this six of swords energy okay six of swords coming up underneath the eight of pentacles and the six of wands okay could be a situation of someone moving or moving forward okay um to explore other options or other you know areas some of you may be trying to move, okay? Um, and maybe that is something that you're working on as far as with your family, all right? Um, and so, you know, maybe for a different scenery or atmosphere or better environment, and that might be why you're working hard and maybe that is the overall um, goal for not just you, but for your person as well, okay? Again, another set of Pisces okay so that is not for everybody as you can see we can pull out of <laughs> the spread for a totally separate energy that is you know what happens in tarot from time to time that's why I always say either get in where you fit in take what resonates and pass the rest to the next okay and so it could be a situation of that um for some of you, it could also be a situation of being in fear of your person kind of leaving possibly um, with this moon card hidden, okay? Um, for some, it could be a situation of your person possibly planning that or maybe had thoughts of leaving um, a few times. Again, with this Six of Cups, it feels like possibly a sharing of fears between two people, okay? Um, as far as the relationship goes um, between the two of you, okay? Almost like a relationship check-in, if you will, okay? Next, we have the Chariot, okay? The Chariot, which is up underneath the Two of Pentacles, following that Six of Swords. Like I said, this center row is your energy right now. Okay, and so the chariot ending out your column underneath the two of pentacles, the four of swords, and the queen of swords. You need to move, okay? Cancer energy with that chariot card, okay? And it is pointing towards the six of swords. It's literally facing that six of swords, saying, wait, you know, kind of a please don't go type of vibe, okay? Um, in the sense of, or maybe when they have wanted to leave, somehow you make it so they stay, okay? Um, and it always ends up being you divulging something that you never uh, told them before, okay? And that either is a continuous behavior trait that you do, or within your relationship, or it's something that is going to be done now, um, because it's such a drastic um, change of events within your relationship, okay? And so possibly to keep this Queen of Swords energy around you, um, you have gone back and forth of whether or not to um, kind of continue on with this relationship in a sense. Um, I also feel like there were some maybe... Um, ultimatums given okay um and so you know you may have been testing the theory of this person to see if they would actually go through with it and you know six of swords being here they have or they are attempting to or about to and you are catching them right before they do okay um in a sense of like i said you know playing you know, poker and having a poker face, um, it does backfire if you're not careful. Okay, Pisces, I keep trying to warn y'all about it. Um, just out of sure care for, for your sign, period. Um, 
but y'all do what y'all do. It's got free will. So nonetheless, let's keep moving. We have the Hermit Virgo energy um, here coming up underneath this Four of Pentacles, okay? Pointing towards everything else with a lantern underneath Four of Pentacles in the Ace of Swords, okay? Holding back truth and you know valuable information you could either have this sign in your chart or possibly energy that's around you it's an honorable mention um that has kind of isolated the situation a little bit okay um you may find yourself in isolation from time to time just thinking of said information okay um it kind of plays a little bit on your readings from last month in reference to maybe someone interjecting into your relationship that shouldn't have okay um and so with this hermit card maybe information or something was said and then they dipped off okay um and left things kind of unsaid or unexplained okay and so it kind of maybe hindered some things or caused some issues, okay? If you haven't seen your readings from last month, by all means, I would suggest that you look at last month's reading. I'm not really going to dive too deep into it now, okay? Next, underneath the Fool, we have the Queen of Cups, okay? Queen of Cups underneath the full. I think you guys are pretty much with this Queen of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is someone who is very mature. Okay. And like I said, this is the last row in your, in your spread dealing with seven cards here, dealing with inner strength. Okay. I, I feel like it's you, but I'm feeling more so that it's the person or uh, the person that you're dealing with um, taking a chance on you like one last time, okay? Um, and it could be you hoping, like I said, um, that this person, again with this six of uh, wands earlier in your reading, hoping that they will take a chance on you and be willing to listen and uh, continue to be there for you, okay? This Queen of Cups is very mature energy, okay? They are very centered in their feelings um, as well, and I'm, I'm not feeling like it's two separate energies. I feel like it's a person that's very well-rounded in their thought process as far as thinking. Um, they do know how to tap into their feelings, but they also know how to manage them appropriately, okay? Um, and so they are compassionate, they are considerate, um, but they will not be taken to be a fool either, okay? With this fool card being here, um, again, it's probably, you know, last leg type of situation, okay? Like I said, with this Queen of Swords energy at the very top, I do feel like there's some ultimatums, okay? Lastly, we have the Magician, okay? The Magician. Um, all the elements being here facing towards this Queen of Cups, um, like I said, definitely, possibly, you know, manipulating the situation um, in a sense, Pisces, to work out in your favor. Um, with this Queen of Swords, you are going to need a full-blown miracle <laughs> um, when it comes to convincing this, this person that you are worth taking another chance on, okay? Um, and that's just being honest, all right? And again, like I said, it's not for every Pisces. If this doesn't resonate with you at all, this was not your reading then, okay? You have multiple other readings for week three. You have last month that you can refer to as well. Not every reading is going to resonate for everybody, okay? Because there are multiple energies that I have to read for. And so with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the bottom of the deck, Pisces, which is temperance, okay? Temperance, which is talking about patience, okay? 
this patience is right on the opposite side of the queen of swords and she has been patient she has been understanding she has done all of those things okay and so that's the reason why you know the ice is kind of cracking a bit here okay under pressure and so the question would be and this is aquarius energy here go figure aquarius is after you in week three okay but there's um a need of this person already having patience you having to test the waters out like i said before with this page of swords kind of you know trying to break the ice in the sense of hoping to make communication start stating some things that were hidden like i said with your inner emotions fears things of that nature um and kind of explaining why you are the way that you are okay because there are some things that this person does not know about you okay and it's time to come clean in order for you to be able to have a healthy um relationship with this person okay so um with that being said pisces that is all that i have for you guys today um, we still have the all my love readings along with the energy shout out, um, which you guys actually also have um, a few of those as well. So you can check those out on the channel um, and then the monthly manifestations. So until then, peace.